Hey everyone, this is Tim from Noisegate, and I'm here with Ishii from UA. We're here checking out the Oxbox. Ichi, how are you? Good, man. Good, man, good. So um, the Oxbox, we want to give it a brief rundown and uh, go through the new update that's, yeah. that's uh, just been released. So would you mind telling us all what the Oxbox does? Yes, absolutely. So first of all, it's a premium load box. So it'll let you use any tube amp at any setting, basically. Um, and you can uh, choose the volume you want to um, uh, use that at uh, through a cabinet. Yeah. So first of all, it's an it's a attenuator, a load box. Um, but that's just the beginning. On the back end, it has a lot of, it has this entire digital engine uh, that basically gives you the studio. And so what it's really doing is letting guitar players keep their amps and their pedals and that whole workflow that they have, but trying to solve the other problem that you have, which is, um, you know, it's hard to have a lot of cabinets. It's hard to mic them. It's hard to have a room to put them in. Um, and just the technique of doing all of that. And so Aux takes care of basically all of that stuff. Um, what, what it uh, gives you is this app. Uh, you can run on either the iPad or um, uh, Windows or Mac laptop. And it gives you a little picture of a studio. Um, and you can uh, choose a cab, uh, choose a pair of mics, um, blend them together, and then even add a room mic, a mono or stereo room mic, uh, to capture all of it. And then you can blend that into a, a basically a, a set of effects that you would find in a, a studio. And um, so you can have an 1176, uh, uh, a Cambridge-like uh, uh, graphic e EQ, and um, a delay, and a reverb, a plate reverb. Um, and just get this wonderful sound. You can take that, send it to the PA or your recording interface, um, and it's like you had a studio. Yeah. That yeah. sort of instant result, instant gratification instant, is really yeah, cool as well. Yeah, it's really, really great. And you can use both of those signal paths simultaneously. So you could, for instance, have your speaker um, kicking out a low volume signal, and then you could be recording. Uh, and that really makes that uh, whole guitar thing more organic. Sure. You'll be getting some uh, energy back into the strings, you know? Yes. Um, and even on a live stage, you could have um, your monitor coming out of your cab, and then the PA is this full wet sound. Super handy, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and can we talk about something real quick now? Usual uh, products like this or other other brands or competitors, mm -hmm. you'd find that they'd mainly use uh, impulse responses. Yes. But this is a totally different and unique technology That's where right. it's more modeling, right? That's right. Do you want to um, so, that a bit? you know, uh, folks that don't know, because the guitar world, we're probably not well known, Universal Audio, but um, in the studio world, uh, we have this entire ecosystem called UAD and Apollo, um, and all the top recording guys are using these tools, and um, it's based on our expertise in modeling, uh, circuit modeling, physical modeling. And uh, so what we've done for the first time is model a speaker. So the speaker um, is not a static thing. It actually changes based on what gets put into it and um, what you do. So if you play really hard, really long, the, the speaker actually heats up and starts to degrade in performance, just like a real speaker. Mm. Um, it'll have resonances and stuff that the cabinet would have uh, depending on what you're playing. And so it feels very real. Um, and, uh, and then on top of that, we have this technology where we can uh, uh, create a room around that. And then uh, also the microphones affect the sound because you have to record that sound through microphones. Um, so all of that is built into this machine, yeah. I think feel is a big thing that you mentioned. It is. Because it's like such a, especially for guitarists, Yes. they provide or they rely on the inspiration of, of a valve amp or mm -hmm. their guitar. So to have, to not have that is something to worry about. Yeah. You won't have that inspiration or exactly. that energy, as you said. Yeah. Um, so the, the new updates, would you mind going through sure. what we've just been or what's just been released? So it already shipped with a ton of cabinets already. Uh, but from the very beginning, uh, guys have been asking for vintage 30s or a heavier um, uh, for the heavier sounds. So we have um, two new 412s uh, featuring the vintage 30s. Um, one's kind of a California design, deep, deep cab, and the other one's a British design right. uh, standard. Um, and then we also have a, a Greenback 30 cab, another 412. And we've also got uh, two kind of uh, boutique cabs with uh, JBLs. Okay. So for the other side, which is super clean sounds, yeah. So you got super clean new cabs and super dirty cabs. Very cool. Cab, yeah. Nice and versatile. And there's also the foot switching as well. That's right. Yep. Yeah, so we've, um, uh, it's primarily been a recording or studio um, machine, but we did give it a foot switch from the very beginning, so now we've activated that functionality. Um, you get three, you can use up to a three switch, and um, you can basically set up to, to affect any of those uh, effect processes that we talked about, like 1176, the, the EQ, 
delay and a reverb. Right. So you could have like a boost sound, and you could have a delay sound, a reverb sound, for instance. Yeah. Very cool. Cool. Yeah. So we're going to have a listen to the new updates in other videos. We want to thank Ichi for being here, and uh, we'll see you soon.